Welcome to the tutorial number 13. In this video, we'll be using revolved cut, fillet and chamfer. After watching this video, you'll be able to create revolved cut, fillet and chamfer in your models. So to start with, the, we'll go with revolved cut. So for that, we first draw a sketch on the right plane. Then select normal tool. We draw a line. This line we will consider it as an axis of rotation. So the sketch has been complete. Now we go on to revolve cut. See. As you can see, we have uh, different axis of rotation selected. So we delete that and then we select this line. And you can even choose as the angle you want till. And selected bodies, if you want on this body, I'll choose this. If I want it on this body also, but I only want in the middle. As I've sketched on there. Okay, and then I select OK. So now to view that, we'll go on the sectional view. Now as you can see, it Yeah, so now this is our sectional view, right plane. So now you can see the revolved cut we created on this solid. So now this was about the revolved cut. Now we'll see about fillet. So I'll just uh, delete this cut for now. Now I'll also delete this sketch or I, I'll hide it. I can hide it like this. I'll click on that I button. It's been hidden. Now I go on to the, uh, as we have already discussed about this fillet sketch. Now we'll talk about fillet uh, body. So in this, when you click on a drop, drop down menu, you have two options, fillet and chamfer. First we'll look for a look at fillet. We select fillet. Now we need to change the items we need to uh, select the items we need to fillet like if i want to fillet this edge i select this and you can see the preview here and there are different types of fillet options here this one is a full round fillet this one is the face fillet this one is the constant size fillet and this is a variable size fillet so for the constant size fillet, we just need to select an edge like I selected this edge. If I select this face, all of all the four edges will be filled. And if I select only one edge, see now this and I can specify the radius of the fillet I want here. If I want 5 mm fillet, I put it like that. If I want 10 mm fillet. I do it then I select OK here so now you can see it's in fillet I will talk another type of uh, the fillet which is the face fillet in this we need to select the two faces so if I I'll select first this face and then this face so now you can see now the fillet has been created on this edge if I want to create it on others also, I select this, this face, and this face. So now the fill has been created on all the edges. And I press tick mark, and the fill has been created. Now, the other type of fill is. 
full round fillet. In these, we need to select three faces like this. If I select first face this, second this, and third this. But when I press OK, so now the cylinder has been filled into a ball, as you can see. I can even show on this rectangle, so I'll delete these fillets, previous ones. So I go on fillet, choose full, uh, full, uh, this one, full round fillet, then I select the faces. So I select this, sorry, the third face to be this, and you can see in the preview, it will curve like that. I press tick mark. So now, it's been. Now I'll show it on the hexagon also. So for hexagon, first I select this face, then these three in the second selection. Now, third to be this. Now as you can see, there's no fillet, uh, sorry, preview in this. So it means that these uh, faces can't be filled. So now we'll delete few selections. You can just click on the selection and press delete, or you can click, or you can just click on this dot here and this will be removed so now you can see the fillet has been created and you press ok so the fillet will look like this so now we'll talk about the chamfer so we'll delete these fillets and i'll show it on this model itself So now from this drop down menu, I select chamfer. Now you can see there are different types of chamfers also. This is distance, angle distance chamfer, distance distance chamfer. There should be a vertex, vertex chamfer also. This is phase. Ah, so this one is the vertex chamfer. So I will be talking about these first three chamfers in this video. Angle distance, distance distance and vertex. So in angle distance, I need to select the items I need to chamfer and then I need to mention the distance and the angle. So I'll select this edge. What is sorry? Select this. Then I put in uh, feed in the distance. So I'll put if I want uh, 15 mm, I give an angle. Should, if I want 30 degrees angle, I give 30 degrees angle. So now you can see the angle of this will change. It's first is 30 degrees. Now I'll feed in 60 degrees. So you can see the angle changing. When I press tick mark, this is how the chamfer looks. So the fillet is a curved type and this is in the angular way and planar. So the fillets are really helpful because it reduces stress at some of these edges, like very pointy edges. If you do fillet, it will reduce the stress on that. Now we'll talk about another type of chamfer which is distance distance In this you just need to select the item you need to fill a and the distance also so I'll show you like I want to fill it uh, so I chamfer this and then I feed in the distance And this is symmetric. In symmetric, it will be like the angle will be 45 degrees for every uh, because 15 and 15 will uh, be 45 degrees. Now we'll select two uh, distances like 15 and I put and put here 30 degrees in distance too. Now you can see the angle is changed accordingly. put in like this whatever I want then I press OK now the third type of chamfer is which I'll talk about is the vertex chamfer in this I need to select the items 
and uh, item I need to fill a and the three different distances so like if uh, I want it at uh, 10 millimeters first then 15 and then 20 then I go and select this point so now you can see the vertex will be chamfered like this so this will all be for this video do check out the description box for quiz and answer them in the comment section thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe to start scratch and check out our other videos to learn similar skills through our bite-sized content